These are major developments today. We have never seen a former president face this type of legal uncertainty. Mr. Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, now the latest member of the former president's inner circle to fold and cooperate with prosecutors who are charging Mr. Trump with trying to undermine the 2020 election. He was former President Trump's last chief of staff and one of his most ardent supporters. But tonight, Mark Meadows has been granted immunity in exchange for grand jury testimony against Mr. Trump in the 2020 federal election interference case. ABC News first to report Meadows has testified before a grand jury at least three times. Meadows reportedly told the grand jury that he informed Mr. Trump his claims of widespread election fraud were, quote, baseless, and that he was being, quote, dishonest with voters when he declared victory on election night. According to ABC, Meadows also told Mr. Trump that his former attorney Rudy Giuliani had failed to find any evidence of election fraud, all this after the Supreme Court denied the former president's election challenge. Special counsel Jack Smith has charged the former president with trying to overturn the results of the 2020 election and obstruct the certification of the electoral vote, which culminated with the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. It really is extraordinary that those who are close to Trump and who are providing him with legal counsel and political counsel are now accepting that they committed criminal wrongdoing and are, are testifying under oath against him. Loyola Law School professor Jessica Levinson says Mr. Trump is facing serious legal jeopardy. The former president has been charged with 91 felony counts in four criminal cases and a civil fraud suit in New York that threatens to upend his business empire. Michael, can you say a couple words here? Former Trump attorney and convicted felon Michael Cohen testifying Tuesday against his old boss in a Manhattan courtroom. Prosecutors say Mr. Trump and his company broke the law by grossly inflating the value of assets like Trump Tower. A judge has already determined the former president committed fraud by inflating those assets, but sent other related claims to trial. How do you plead to aiding and abetting false statements in writings? Guilty. Former Trump attorney Jenna Ellis has become the fourth defendant to plead guilty for trying to overturn former President Trump's 2020 election loss in Georgia. In exchange for her cooperation, Ellis has accepted five years probation and $5,000 in restitution. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. Three others who have already pleaded guilty include former Trump attorney Sidney Powell and Kenneth Chesborough, as well as bail bondsman Scott Hall. For his part, Mr. Trump maintains his innocence, continues to make false claims of widespread election fraud, and remains the leading Republican candidate in the 2024 race for the presidency. It also appears former President Trump's best defense is winning re-election. I think... He and or others in his orbit believe that the best way of beating back these cases is to win the election because then he will be president. He can try to direct his attorney general to drop the charges and or he can give himself a prospective pardon. Former Trump chief of staff Mark Meadows reportedly to told prosecutors that he agreed with the Department of Homeland Security's findings that the 2020 election was the most secure in U.S. history. Former President Trump has also been charged with keeping classified and top secret documents at his Florida estate after he left the White House and obstructing government efforts to retrieve them. The trial for that has been scheduled next year, May 24th. Back to you.